Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I heard another story about the life of Christ, a different kind of story. It must be a multi-temporal story from another timeline. And it goes like this. Uh, the, uh, the notion that Christ died on the cross is actually apocryphal. It was born of the hopes of the people of his time that he would fulfill the ancient prophecies in that regard. So I asked, what in fact happened? And this is what I heard. It's the most amazing story. It goes like this. Um, Christ was a married man, happily married man. He had a beautiful young daughter, about six years of age. And, um, and he and his wife, uh, when, when things became very difficult where he was, they escaped by boat to the, um, the Italian shore, to the shores of Italy. And there they lived a long and happy life. Uh, during that time, his wife bore him seven sons in addition to the daughter that, that had been born. And uh, they died in a goodly length of time at the, at the right time, in a ripe old age, um, having, having uplifted and taught many, many people, inspired many people during their lifetime. That's an interesting variant of the story of the life of Christ, is it not? I, I can't help but wonder if many people thought that to be the life of Christ, how things might change in the Christian world. How, for instance, the notion that, that persecution always exists in the world might be dampened and subdued, and how the notion of retributory um, uh, vengeance and uh, persecution would also fade, fade from the fabric of our reality. Would that not be wonderful? And, and then we could all go on, moving on into new life on new earth, and, and with peace and harmony within our own souls and within the, in the souls of our neighbors. Even for those who, who, who believe as things are right now, uh, who believe that Christ was crucified and that it was necessary that he be so in this dimension, it is possible to live that life by concentrating on his earlier life and teachings, which are, which are very uplifting and sustaining, are they not? And, and, and not dwelling on so much on the pain and suffering of his final moments, but instead on the wonders of, of his life on earth, the, the wonderful things that he did for humankind. <laughs>